Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change maps on your Nitrado server. I'm also going to be explaining what happens when you change maps. So stay tuned. It's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long. If you want to get your Arc PS4 server set up in minutes instead of messing around in the Nitrado expert settings for hours, then go to arcps4servers.com forward slash settings. Here you'll find downloadable settings codes that you can easily copy and paste to the expert mode settings of your Nitrado server and get your server set up ASAP. And if you want to get more players on your server and grow your community, then you can add your server to the site by going to arcps4servers.com and grow your community today. Yo, what's going on? I'm Jay Carter Ray from ArcPS4Servers.com teaching you how to be better. And I received this question a little while ago. Let's see if I can find the person who asked it. Yes, I found the picture. So a gentleman named Spanish Hollow says, hey man, good vids as usual, but could you make a quick one saying how to change the maps? I'm going to the center, but not sure how to go about it or if it ruins my progress or dinos on the island. Thanks, man. So first of all, let me explain what changing maps actually does. Does it get rid of your, your buildings, your player, your dinos? No, it doesn't get rid of any of that. I've just tested it out. I went from Ragnarok to the island and went back to Ragnarok. I had all my beds, all my structures. I had my, I was still standing on my griffin when I came back. So it seems to hold everything in a kind of limbo, kind of like if you was to just switch off the server. But if you go to the Nitrado interface, then it says that there's a known issue when changing the map of a PVP server with existing player profiles, which can result in very long respawn times. So they suggest to either upload the player data through an obelisk before switching the map and then downloading the player data after that or performing a save folder wipe in the backup section after switching the map, which deletes all player data. So if you don't want there to be super long respawn times when you die after you change the map, you either need to upload every character on the arc to an obelisk before changing the map, or you'll need to delete all player data. So these are things you may need to think about if you want to change your map. So how do you change the map? You just go to general settings. Uh, yeah, whether you're in expert mode or not in expert mode and you just come down here, you should stop your server beforehand, of course. And then you just come here and you choose whatever map you want. Like right about now we're on Ragnarok. We can go to the island and we'll just click save changes. And then if we save the changes, the next time we restart our server, it will start on the island. But let's actually go back to Ragnarok because why not? And that's how you that's how you change your map. It's that easy. It's really, really simple. You don't have to go through expert settings or anything like that because it all stays here in the general settings. I hope this video helped you out. I hope it gave you some information into what would happen if you change your map, if you was a little confused about that, because I honestly was. I had no idea. So testing it out helped me find out some things, and I hope it helped you find out some things as well. If you've got any questions or any other videos you'd like me to make, please leave those in the comments section down below thanks for watching and liking and subscribing i'll see you guys in the next arc ps4 server tutorial peace out if you want to host your own arc server then i recommend renting one from nitrado they're also the official server provider for wildcard go to jcarterray.com forward slash nitrado to rent your own arc server and help out the channel in the process it's been a cold winter and it's lasted far too long So all this wolf I share